If you already have your own WordPress website and you want to know how to allow your customers to book an appointment directly with you, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how you can create your appointment with Calendly, the free version, how to make all the relevant changes so that it suits your needs. And then we're going to display it beautifully on a dedicated page on your website. Your customers will be able to book an appointment at a time and day that suits them and you, and then they're going to receive their Zoom link for their appointment in a conveniently automated way. If you want to know more about how to craft a beautiful WordPress website for your business, then please consider subscribing to my channel. We're going to be using the free version of Calendly for this. So if you're ready, let's get started. What we need to do is we need to make sure that if you don't already have Elementor installed on your website, you want to make sure you have it installed. So in order to do that, you need to go over to plugins, then add new and find Elementor. So go to add new plugin, search in here, Elementor, and you'll see Elementor web page builder. This will say install now. You just need to click on install now and activate, and then you'll be able to follow along with the rest of this tutorial. So you want to get, hit get started and sign up for an account with them. I am going to log into my account. And once you're logged in, you want to hit this little plus icon here. We want to create our event as such. So we're going to create this one, event type, one to one, one host with one invitee. This is the one we're looking for. Of course, there are different options here if you have a group thing you want to use Calendly for. So we're going to click one to one uh, and it's going to be myself as the host. I'm going to click next. We are going to name our event. Free, free discovery call. We're going to say our free discovery call is 15 minutes. It's going to be done. You can either do it by phone call, but a lot of people like to do these via Zoom. It means you get to see people face to face. They get to see you face to face. So we're going to click on Zoom. And if you want to use Zoom, you need to integrate it with your Zoom account. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This will mean that people will automatically be sent the Zoom link in order to join our call. So I'm going to click connect Zoom for myself. We're going to log into our Zoom. I just need to verify with the one time passcode. Calendly, it's gone into my promotions tab. Now we're going to integrate our Calendly with our Zoom. That's going to automate it. That's part of the process where people will automatically have our Zoom link that they need in order to join our free call. So we're going to create our new event again. One to one, just with me. Fifteen minutes. Click Zoom. This time it is allowing us to click, select Zoom because we have our accounts integrated. Now we want to click on continue. So our event is ready. We just want to tweak some of the settings. We want to control when someone can book, how far into the future they can book, what time of the day we, they can book. Obviously you want to only make sure that they can book at a time that you are free. <laughs> Event details. We can create a little bit of instructions here. Save and close. Scheduling settings. This is how far in the future invitees can schedule their appointment. So you might want to have that just 30 calendar days into the future, or you can have that just weekdays into the future. Or you can set it as indefinitely. Do we want a buffer time? Do we want to have a little bit of time between calls? If you have a lot of calls, you might want to have a 15 minute break in between. Minimum notice. We want to make sure we have a little bit of time to get ready for our discovery call. You want to show them their own time zone. And we want them to start at 30 minute increments. You can adjust all of this as it suits you. You can have weekday hours, 
date specific hours. Our availability currently unavailable on Sunday. I'd like to leave that that way, but if you want to have them on Sunday or modify this to your needs. Now, once we have all of this set up accordingly, we want to go to, let's go back to the home and we'll find our event again. This is the one here and we want to click on share. And what we want to do is we can share the link directly with someone or we want to add it to our website. We want to select this one, Inline Embed. We're going to embed this on a specific page on our website. So just click this one and click Continue. And this is a little bit of code that we want to copy. We can also modify this so that it is in line with our brand. So with this little blue color, it's obviously the color of Calendly, but we can change this so the blue is now our green for our branding color. So I'm going to go over to get our hex code there again for our green. And I'm going to pop that in there. Uh, yep, copy code. And I'm going to head back over to our website. And we want to create a page that is dedicated for to this booking section, this discovery call booking section. So we're going to go add a new page. I'm going to call it free discovery call. Click on publish. Publish. We want to click on edit with Elementor. We want to add a section. We're just going to add a simple section here because we don't need too much content on here. We're really just going to embed a little bit of code. So we want to click on this add plus icon here and we want to find the short code one. We want to drag that over into our section. And this is where we want to paste in the code from Calendly. You're going to see now that this is drag this across from our Calendly and embedded it on our website. The only other thing I might like want to do here is just add a heading. I'm going to pop the heading in above there. And we're just going to say book free discovery call. What does that look like? I might just style it very slightly. I'm going to center that text. I'm going to bring it down slightly, I think. So I'm going to add a little bit of margin on the top. What does that look like? Yeah, that's perfect. So now we have the availability that we've set up through our Calendly. People can book their discovery call and you will obviously receive an email whenever that is done. So you've automated this part of your business, this part of your sales funnel. And obviously you want to click publish. What we now want to do is we want to add this page to our menu. So we're going to go back into our WordPress dashboard. So we want to make sure we have a page called book. We have our free discovery call. And we want to add that to our menu. So if you remember, we need to go to appearances and then menus. And then we want to add this page to our menu. And we don't want to leave the navigation label that one. Just say book. You can have it as book your discovery call if you want. But I think that might be a bit too long of a title for the menu. So let's save that menu. So now we go back to our, visit our site. And now we have all of these menu items here. 